हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सुनील 1074 जीरो सेवन फोर चैनल डेडिकेटेड टू द स्टूडेंट्स एंड सोसाइटी फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक माय चैनल सुनील 1074 जीरो सेवन फोर डू लाइक इट एंड सब्सक्राइब इट इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द जोमेट्रिकल कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट थ्री दैट इज टू ड्रॉ अ पॉलीगॉन by a method which itself gives us number of polygons so a single method to draw number of polygons now in this case particularly consider a side of polygon as 50 mm 50 so that take that side horizontal 50 mm so i am taking 50 mm here two points are marked point a point b now from this particular point draw on vertical line perpendicular to this of same length that is 50 mm so this is perpendicular show it perpendicular label this point as c now join a and c by a faint line I join a and c by a faint line then use compass use compass keep compass on b keep compass on b take v a as a radius and draw arc a faint arc keeping compass on b taking b a as radius so arc is drawn faint arc next step is this ab horizontal length ab horizontal side is to be bisected now in my first video of geometrical construction i have explain you how to bisect a side given side or a line now take more than half of the distance draw a faint arc over here same radius take in compass Keep compass on A and bisect it. So here you are getting the point. Now through this point, draw faint vertical line parallel to this. So very faint construction because our aim is to draw polygons. So faint line is drawn over here. Now see this particular line is intersecting. this line at this point and this arc at this point so this particular point of intersection we will label this as 4 and this as 6 so 4 number and 6 number we have got now this 4 number and 6 number measure this particular distance from 4 to 6 and divide it into two equal parts it means that we have to locate the center point of 4 and 6 so if i measure this so somewhere here five number point will be there another procedure is there we can bisect this 4 6 again one line is there vertical so we can bisect it and we will get the midpoint center point 5 now whatever this distance is there same distance between 4 to 5 5 to 6 is to be kept constant and further points can be marked so here the seven number point will be there seven in the same way eight number point can be marked Eight. Likewise, 
nine number point is also mark. Now the procedure that you have to follow. See, use compass. Keep compass on four point number four. Take four a as radius. Take four a as radius. And draw one faint circle. Draw one faint circle. So one faint circle is drawn. Center four, radius four a. Now this is one side of polygon. This is another side. So if a square is to be constructed, if a square is to be constructed from this particular point. Go vertically up. Then join this. So a square will get a square in the same way. In the same way, keep compass on five. Take five a as radius. See carefully. Five a as radius. Center five. Draw circle. One by one, you draw circle. If you try to draw circle at once, then there will be confusion for you people to locate the particular polygon. So one by one, draw faint circles. Keeping compass on that respective point. Now five a radius is taken. Now five means a pentagon. So whatever side is there, that is fifty millimeter. This much side will take in compass. Keep compass on a. Cut this distance on the circle drawn through center five. Then join. This particular point, this particular point with respective points. So I will join So you will get a polygon, pentagon. So a pentagon is constructed. Now to get hexagon, keep compass on six. Take six a as radius. Draw a faint circle. and circle now side of hexagon same 50 keep compass on a cut distance on respect to circle now join these points Will get a hexagon. Join properly the points.
so likewise hexagon is constructed now if heptagon is comes to be constructed 7 to a radius draw a faint circle now side is 50 so take this much side in compass cut on that particular circle which is drawn through C1 now join Likewise, take your own time. Join points properly. Likewise, a heptagon is constructed in the same way octagon also can be constructed any number of side polygon can be constructed with the help of this particular method after completing this we can label it also a b c here d the a b side is there c d e f g then H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Likewise, you can show numbers or notations also. Uh, don't erase circles after drawing this. Circle should be faint. Show number carefully. Four number as well as six number. Show this arc faint show this bisector of a line label it properly so in this way we can construct a polygon or polygons by using a single method friends be safe be happy keep watching my channel sunil1074 thank you